No way. Oh man. Yo, what's going on sneaker fam? Today I'm bringing you another pickup. I swear I'm only meant to be sticking to one a month. But of course, when I see a kick I love, I have to cop it. That is the Air Jordan 1 2017 BHM. These are madness. Starting off with the box as always. It's a black and gold Jordan box. But of course, they put the gold BHM on the front as all BHMs come in. On the tag, it reads Air Jordan 1 Retro High BHM, black slash metallic gold slash black, size UK 10. And then, of course, on the inside, it doesn't get you 23 paper, it just comes with standard white this time. And of course, you guys know how the bottom goes with the gold writing. So that's the box. Getting into the shoe, they dropped on the 11th of February for $150, that's 125 British pounds. With this type of leather for that money, you'd be crazy not to miss it. I first want to highlight the leather that Jordan Brand has used on these, I'm not going to lie, is very, very close to shattered backboard. Literally, it's about 3% off of being shattered backboard quality. I mean, look at that. Damn! The whole shoe is in that super, super soft leather, and I'm not lying when I'm saying it's close to shattered backboard. Jordan Brand has surprised us with these, definitely. The whole shoe, I mean the whole shoe, the side panels, the top panels, the toe box, everything is super soft. And it's all in that mattish colour black. It's not shiny, it's more matte colour. And the very special part I loved about these when they first dropped and shit came out. The pictures come out recently before they dropped, so it's quite a surprise attack, as I called it. But watch this. Madness, man. You can actually take the Air Jordan Wings logo off, the Nike tick, and even the tongue. I mean, the whole patch set, they give you an extra bag that's got some black and gold patches in the other way round. It's got the gold outline and the black patch itself, which is super dope. But on one tongue, you've got VHM, and on the other tongue, it's got the Jumpman Air. And I just want to show you guys another dope touch that Jordan Brand has put on these. Just read the tags and tell me what you think. Yes, on both of them, it's got a little speech underneath from Michael Jordan himself. On the right shoe, limits like fears is often an illusion, MJ. And on the left shoe, always turn a negative situation into a positive situation, MJ also. That's just an insane touch. It's on that quite hard nylon tongue. Black laces, of course. Got the BHM logo on the laces in black. Black stitch jump man on the back, of course. All black midsole and then, then the all black sole. On the inside, it's got your padded lining in black. Then your stamp jump man in gold. And of course, all my Jordan 1 lovers, you'll do this. Oh, that fresh smell. Some guys might think it's weird, but I know all you guys smell your shoes. Oh, Jordan 1's have always got that smell, always. These actually sold out on release day. I was quite surprised. I've not known of any BHM to sell out, but these did. And to be fair, you can't complain. Jordan Brand have switched it up with this Velcro effect with the different patches. And not just like on the swoosh like they thought they would have done. They've done it on the swoosh, the Air Jordan Wings logo, and even on the tongue. This is similar to the Rare Airs. They never did anything like this. So I'm not surprised these sold out. There's quite a few people that don't like the Velcro effect, which also is fair enough, is their opinion. But I actually picked these up from my London plug, Raj, and I'll drop all his information down below. If you want anything from Yeezys to Ultra Boost to Jordans to Air Force Ones, definitely hit him up. I'm sure he picked up quite a few of the V2s that recently came out, and he's selling them at a good price. So here's my London plug that grabbed these for me. He also grabbed me the Shattered Backboard Away, the Pinnacle 6, and of course the OVO 12. He grabbed all them for me at great prices, and I'm just glad that he managed to pick these up for me at a great price. But these are mad. These are just madness. I'll drop an on-foot video of these at the end of this video for you guys to see what they're like on feet as well. These are going to go hard, no doubt about that. But believe me, shattered backboard leather. Definitely shattered backboard leather. Or really close. So soft. And that Velcro. Ah, I can't believe it. Just super dope. A 
comparison on the Jordan 2016 BHM and the 2017, both awesome shoes. Quality on BHMs are just overall amazing. I've got to pick up the Spizzo BHMs, a bright, luminous, lime greeny colour, or yellow, whatever you want to call it. Definitely got to get them. But these two are just incredible. If you guys want to see a review on these, I'm sure I've done a review on them already. Drop a comment down below and I'll be sure to do a review on these. Comment down below what's your favourite. Is it 2016 or 2017? I'm definitely going to go with the 17 because these are just wow. Jordan Brand just kicked up 10 notches compared to 2016. They just blew it away. That level is crazy. So that's it guys. If you enjoyed that video, please hit a thumbs up. Stay tuned for the on feet which is coming at the end of the video. Comment down below if you guys picked them up, if you passed on them or you weren't too sure on the Velcro. In my opinion, super dope stay tuned for the on feats on my instagram at king of vi they'll be coming you know shout out to the guys over at jordan one only if you're not following us on facebook definitely give us a follow we've just hit the 18k mark incredible shout out to alps the creator of jordan one only dope and genuine guy go give us a follow until next time i'm the king of vi peace